Hi all. Since my brain was thinking silly and slightly evil things following the destruction of the fan earlier today, I decided to construct a dedicated, more robust kill box for popping various little battery-powered and direct current-powered devices. What I have here is an L-shaped aluminum chassis taken from a washing machine control board, and to that I've clamped a 15 amp continuous 150 amp surge bridge rectifier. That will function as either a straight rectifier or as a voltage doubler using these monster 1000 microfarad capacitors taken from the same TV as a rectifier. That, along with the Variac, should give 0 to 200 volts at about 10 amps, or in doubler mode, 0 to 400 volts at about 4.5 amps. That should be plenty to annihilate anything I decide to plug into this thing. And that is the project for tonight, tomorrow. Hopefully I will find something worthwhile to send up in flames. Alright, there is the prototype of the DC kill box, and everything is connected up, ready for a first test. I hope I connected things properly, because if I didn't, that could very well fill this room with magic smoke. However, I do have an amp meter on the input to the Variac, so if anything goes funny, I should see a sharp rise in current and be able to switch it off before anything too ballistic happens. So, I'm gonna finish everything up, double check, triple check, and get on with the test. Alright, here we go, powering on. Alright, current consumption appears normal. Gonna start cranking that up. And that appears to be functioning as well. Nothing's bulging. Current consumption appears again at idle because there's no load. Variac is sitting at 20 volts. AC, maybe 21 volts. And this voltage doubler is spitting out 64 volts DC. So, that appears to be successful. I think I'm going to continue ramping that up just to see what happens. Two hundred one volts DC, 202 volts, current consumption still appears normal, nothing seems to be in distress, and the Variac is sitting at 70 volts AC. So, gonna continue some tests and then come back when this thing appears to be working. There it is, topped out at between 396 and 397 volts. Variac is drawing just a tiny bit over idle, and nothing in there is getting toasty. So the next step will be to finish those two output ends and put a little load on it, see how it behaves. Variac is on. Drawing idle current. No output voltage. Uh, slowly cranking up the output voltage. Alright. 37 volts DC. The lamp has just begun to glow. And current consumption from the mains has risen slightly. Oh, gonna keep taking this up. Alright, 81.2 volts DC. Lamp is glowing a bit brighter. 
and then we got 0.26 amps being pulled from the mains by the Variac. Raise the power a bit. We're at that's 106 volts. Now that's at 122 point, uh, 123 volts DC. We're pulling 0.42 amps from the mains. Hmm. 51 volt amps, but a little under 30 watts. And the circuit doesn't seem to be complaining. I'm gonna grab my little heat gun and or thermometer and take a look. Resistors aren't complaining. And the rectifier is well it really couldn't care less about the load that's on it. So I'd call that a success. And Bury the bulb up and down, up and down, up and down, and then off. Oh, successful little load test. This thing really couldn't care any less about a 25 watt load. And I think that's about all for now. Thanks for watching.